I have finally gotten my auth uh, contracts and also the Firebase and Sanctum versions of um, the implementations for those contracts working now. So what you're seeing on this page here is we've got the Firebase plugin and all of the implementations of those contracts. So like um, registering, logging in, logging out, handling redirects um, for authentication, all that kind of stuff um, for Firebase. And then the exact same um, implementations for Laravel Sanctum. So now what I can do is over here, I can say, okay, now use the Firebase plugin and use the Laravel Sanctum plugin. And then down here, I'm saying, um, here are all of my auth providers because it's possible to have more than one. Usually you'd obviously only have one, but it's possible to have more than one. So we can come in here and say, there's Firebase and we match up all of those contracts to the implementation. So that's what we're doing here. We're saying these are all of the features uh, available by matching those contracts to the implementations. And then the exact same thing for Laravel Sanctum. But this is kind of the magic trick now, check this out. Uh, with this Quasar app extension that I'm building, I can now say, all right, I want the default one to be Firebase. So in this example, I've got two implementations, but obviously you would usually only have one, uh, but this just allows me to sort of demonstrate both really quickly. So now I can say, all right, we're gonna do this for Firebase. So that means it's going to automatically by default use my Firebase provider. And then this is the app extension. And this is basically imagining you just installed the app extension and you haven't done anything else. You've done no other setup except paste in your Firebase credentials. So now I can um, log in or we might actually start with a register. So let's jump to the register page. You get this page for free and you can say someone cool at example.com, put in a random password, register, and there we go, that's working. We've also got a dashboard page as well. And just to show you a bit of how that works, um, if I go over to my routes now, here's my routes.js file. Oh, there's actually nothing in there. It's gonna be sitting in my, um, I think I had ended up having to put it in my app.view file. Yeah, so there is a bit of boilerplate I'm trying to get rid of here in the app.view file. But basically what it does is it's, you can have some meta on your route saying auth only. And that basically means you can only visit that route if you're authenticated. So um, I am authenticated so I can view the dashboard, but it's not going to let me view the login page. So if I go to the login page, I'm already logged in, sends me straight back to the dashboard. So all that kind of cool stuff. And if I log out now, and then I try and go to the dashboard, that's all handled for you. The app extension does all of that for you. And it's fully customizable, um, which I'll probably show like in a future video. But here's the cool part, that's for Firebase. If I now want the exact same functionality for Laravel Sanctum, I literally just change this to Sanctum. It uses all of the same components. Everything else, um, since this is all using an interface, is um, pulling from uh, the, the same um, interface. Anyway, let me show you what I mean. So now if I come back to this login page, it looks the exact same, but we're actually using Laravel Sanctum behind the scenes now instead of Firebase. So if I log in with a different account, so let's go to register first, register, and notice we get this extra field here. So it automatically picks up that I'm using Laravel Sanctum and it also gives me the name field because by default, that's what Sanctum gives you. But of course, this is completely customizable. So now I can say someone cool, and then we can say someone else, uh, someone else cool at example.com. Whoop. There we go, that was a terrible email. And then we can log in like so. And there we go, it all works the exact same. And now if I try and go once again to that login page, all of those redirects are still going to work. And so the cool thing about this is I can basically re-implement this contract now for any backend that follows this paradigm because this password, email password paradigm is always the same. It's always just returning a promise. And that means that when, when I'm ready to do something like Superbase, I just re-implement this contract. Like it's, this is so cool. I can't believe it's actually working now. So you can imagine this is just Firebase Sanctum, uh, we just create contracts for a whole bunch of others. And by the way, this isn't just a Quasar thing. This is um, 
framework agnostic. So later on down the line, we could do this for other frameworks as well. But the cool thing about Quasar is since it does take control of things like routing, we can give the entire experience. So doing things like redirects, we can do that for them for free. We can do that for the, um, the, the dev with virtually no extra work. And by the way, I'm currently working on uh, the UI for setting this up. Let me just see if I can find this somewhere. Yeah, without actually ruining any of my work here. So let's just say we're in this test app. What did I call it? Test app. And then we say Quasar extension add, and I called it auth. But once again, I need to change that name because somebody else is already using it. Uh, so let's say yes to reinstalling that. Oh, it's going to run all that again. Whoops, I was meant to say invoke. Quasar extension invoke because it's already installed. And then you can basically choose here Laravel Sanctum or Firebase. So let's just say we choose Firebase. Then we can say all of the features that we want. Uh, so for example, you might not want any of these um, the, these auth providers, Facebook, Twitter, etc. And by the way, I haven't actually implemented those yet, uh, but they'll be easy to do. So now... I can choose those. I'm not going to overwrite those. And it's basically going to scaffold out the entire thing for us. So now if I go into test app here, what it's done is, and let me know if you disagree with the way I formatted this, but I, th I tried a few different ways of doing this and I decided it's best just to have an auth folder, which has uh, your components and your pages in there. I thought about having, for example, pages and then an auth folder, uh, components and then an auth folder, but I ended up deciding against that and just having everything in this auth folder and the paradigm just seemed to work a little bit nicer, uh, at least in my experience. And now one of the cool things is we can come into actions here and if you want to customize the way login is done, you can come into uh, this use login composable and customize it however you like. Same with logout and same with register. Um, as long as you end up returning the same thing here, because that's what the component ends up consuming, then that's just going to work. And also the components as well, you can come in here and change that. So this is all scaffolded out for you and you can tweak things however you like, uh, if you'd like to. So once again, these are actually uh, backend agnostic. So you can change these however you like and they're going to work for both Firebase and Sanctum. It'll just work. And the reason that works, if I come in to use login here, is that they're pulling from auth composables and it's actually using provide and inject behind the scenes. And you know how we set the default there. Let me just come in here uh, to our auth providers here. Now the fact that I set Sanctum as default there means that when I inject use identity password login, it means that it's going to give me uh, the Sanctum version by default, right? So it goes, ah, oh, we're using Sanctum, let's come in here and use those. Um, those bindings there. But uh, we could actually use both. So if I really wanted, I, should, I could actually come in here and say Firebase, uh, so you can like be more explicit. And then instead of giving you the default, it's then going to give me obviously the Firebase one instead. So you can do that for all of uh, the, the providers, which is really cool because it means you get like this maximum flexibility. And it means that you can have more than one auth provider in an application but it still allows us to have defaults so that we can create this really ridiculously simple setup using Quasar. So I'm so excited. I can't believe I've actually got this working now. I think the next step is to then start exploring other providers like um, Superbase uh, is probably where I'll start next because I know that's particularly popular. Um, and maybe like Ruby on Rails or something like that. And yeah, so that's currently where this is at. Really, really excited. Let me know what you think. Let me know if there's some features that you want. Some of the other features I want to implement next as well is um, doing things like password resets because I'm pretty sure the paradigm for a password reset um, with an email. So you could have like, for example, a uh, password reset email as one of the features here. And then you could have like password reset something else and you could have different con contracts for all of those different uh uh, different paradigms there. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this one. I'm super excited. Definitely pull this in and have a play with it if you're interested. Oh, actually maybe give it a couple of days because there's still a few things I need to tweak for it to fully work. But yeah, that's where it's currently at. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.